were just talking about green flags and, and, and positive things. I guess I'll give one of mine and then we'll go around the room and introduce everybody. And I want a green flag from all of you on top of our normal introduction. My green flag is she has a good relationship with her father. I noticed that women that all the women that have good relationships with their father act much better in general and well we can dive into what better means but it's like they've been cool they've been they understand you a little bit better they respect you a little bit more you don't get a low level disrespect from women that have a good man in their lives even if it's their father. So that's my green flag. We're going to intro introduce the panel. I don't have a long monologue. We got <laughs> fan favorite Dom Fowler. Pew, pew, hit the buttons. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> For the people that don't know you, and A, we only have one comment in here. Talk to us nice. There's eight people in here. Don't be ninja watching. Say hello. Anyway, we got Dom Fowler here. Pew, 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 again. <laughs> <laughs> For the people that don't know you, name. Yep. Relationship status. Yep. That's it. And <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I forget how to podcast. Sorry, guys. It's been this is three weeks now. What I do with my green flag. What you do. Yeah. And yeah, we'll do your green flag. Okay. Um, my name is Dom Fowler. Um, I am an educator and I am the owner and creator of August Jones Essentials, where we offer wellness shots and detoxes. Both. Um, yeah, I'm engaged. Woo, woo. And Ke Ke Kevin, Ke Kevin was, why was he so slow yeah, on Yeah, he that? was kind of slow, Kev. You knew it was coming. <laughs> um, yeah, no, and a green flag. Oh, you kind of put me on the spot, because, like, I don't know. But You've only had all day to think about at least one. I'm very busy. I know, I really, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know <laughs> them. It's just, like, one is, I don't know, I want to say a good one, but I don't know. I think that a green flag for me is just um, not being pressed. So just being chill. Nonchalant. Nonchalant. Doesn't like you too much. Not doesn't like you too much, but just not pressed. Doesn't act on their liking you too much. No, not, not acting on it, but just not the pressing. Yeah, it's the <laughs> energy. It's just like not pressing. It's just like being honest. I like Stoic. you. Stoic. I like you hi have a good day you know do you like me back do you want to go out but i'm not going to hit you up 10 million times asking you to go out you know okay. what i mean that type of vibe i think is a green flag not pressed you know Makes sense. okay you feel me yeah. okay all right. all right i have a lot of <laughs> thoughts about that i know it, it's kind of like an ambiguous one but yeah i like it i'm gonna stick beside it because the closed mouth don't get fed not nah, your the mouth is open it's just not just drooling, only a little bit oh, real thirsty okay. you know what i'm well, saying i like that analogy yeah we got gold mine entertainment what's up jenna robinson tara bonner my mom hi mom how are you hey mom <laughs> long time no see <laughs> It's been a long time so that's three of the eight of y'all don't be ninja watching introduce yourself say hello anyway okay my name is wanzo i'm single and a green flag for me is seeing how she, if she can, oh, God, I'm losing my thoughts already. Oh, no, he didn't <laughs> smoke weed this time. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, a flag for me, a green flag for me is just to see how we can handle uh, disagreements. That's a green flag. So, What's if, your preferred way? What What are you like? Wow, I'm really impressed by her, this way that she handled this disagreement. If we can talk. And it don't turn into a screaming match and the the conversation. And we're all over the place and not even on the topic anymore. We're just bringing up topics from you know, months ago. You know a woman that can stay on that particular topic of the issue? Oh, I do. <laughs> don't do us. <laughs> don't do us. We can stay focused. That's happened? She didn't bring up random other things? You, you just stayed in there? Nah, sometimes you got to guide them back. Women know how to communicate. This Arguably much better than men, so don't do this. How sweet. How sweet. I think they know how to communicate. We just communicate in different ways. That's a good point. That's true. That's true. And they're I'll just leave it at that for now. Yeah. Let's <laughs> we're trying to say. Never mind. Go ahead. 
Our new guest, pium, 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 self-proclaimed, self-proclaimed alpha female. Oh my God. I'm Tay Michelle. Um, what was the other one? I'm currently in a relationship. Oh my God, here he goes. I'm currently in a relationship. Um, I think my green flag would be him being able to match my hustle. Um, him being motivated. Half sway. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, before this podcast started, make this shit up, I was just asking questions that I didn't think I would talk about during this episode, but Tay has me triggered already. And her first, the first thing she said is his hustle. And I asked, I asked Tay, I said, Tay, how much does a guy need to make to date you? And she said, eh, it doesn't matter as long as I, he satisfies me emotionally, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. You can't make this shit up. And people. then I said, well, can it be zero dollars? Can he be unemployed? She you said, no. You ain't got no, no job and you ain't got shit to do. And now she comes here and says, for her green flag, all day she's been thinking about the topic and she came and Stop. Said, <laughs> Don't lie. Do not tell lies on YouTube because first of all, do you really want to get into it right now? No, 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 no. <laughs> Appreciate it. But, <laughs> but, the first thing you said was, uh, <laughs> I'm so triggered by brain. My brain. Is. I feel like what just happened with that. Design. You said his hustle. Go ahead. You said his hustle. Yes. So you want to, I'm confused. You don't okay, just describe what this. you mean. Okay. Um, just giving a quick example. Quick example. I'm always looking for the next best thing. Whoa. Like I'm, I'm always, I always That's want more. Flag. Whoa there. I always want more. Like I'm, I'm never content. Like I always feel as though there's more to do, mm -hmm. and I never like. It's almost like I never want to stop thriving. I never want to stop learning. I never want to stop experiencing things. Mm -hmm. I don't like. I never. It's almost like I never want my relationship to get old. Mm -hmm. It may get old, but I don't want it to get. I don't you want can't it to make feel this like, shit up, like it's old. If you know what I mean. So when What's I say that match, have to do with hustle. So though? when I say match my hustle. Like you want you striving for more out of life and you want him yes, to be, like want I, the same thing. Like I don't want you to be content working your nine to five. Like I want you to like go home and be like, okay, this is my nine to five. Okay, now this is gonna be my five, five to nine. nine. And he also has to satisfy you and give you enough attention at the same time. Where's we can do it together. That? We can literally do it. There's ways you do things together. Okay. Houseway. Let me tell you houseway. Um, I'm asking you for the answer. It's a I question. Get, oh, my God. This man. <laughs> Kevin is, he already He's said we were going to have it. a problem. And He's I already. That. I know. God. But, like, I, I told you earlier, like, I want to I wanna get my real estate license. Mm -hmm. And... My boyfriend, he's very, he's very hands on. So he's into like the whole interior design, flipping houses. So I figured, okay, I buy the property, you fix it up and we make money together. Like we grow together, we build together. So it's like, that's what I mean by matching my hustle. Like, I don't want you to slow me down. If anything, I want you to push me to be better. Be I used to, I used to believe in that from my personal experience with, with that is, um, it adds another complexity to your relationship that's probably unnecessary, but that's just at least what I, I, I can agree. My with own that. anecdotal, because if you have a business disagreement now, it kind of can bleed over into your relationship and vice versa. If you have a relationship uh, disagreement, it can bleed bleed over into your business, and that, that opens but you up to more problems. I see where you're coming from with that aspect of things, but I feel like. That's also a communication barrier that you need to break. Like, I think that needs to be set in stone when you guys do go into business. Like, hey, outside these four walls, we are not, we're not husband and wife. Or yeah, like, but we're not boyfriend, girlfriend. Like, this is business. And that shouldn't come into the house. Yeah, but human being, like, it's just not, you can try, but it's not really possible. Okay, so, so you get a, a DM. And it's some chick saying, I'm coming to you as a woman. Oh, no. Don't come and, to me as a woman. Please don't. She comes to you as a woman. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. And then you're going on a real estate appointment. Uh, and you're meeting for a million dollar business deal. And you just got that message. And now you're heated. You're just going to swallow it while you're at the business meeting and just not have yes, any, it won't, there, zero effect on you. There, there's Stop no, the cap. There's no money in emotion. There's no money in emotion. Emotional damage. It's like <laughs> this guy is going. This crazy. guy going crazy. 
<laughs> and I just feel like you're triggering Kevin over here. I know. Well, he already told me he was triggered by my 5 a.m. thing, so it's fine. My book thing, but I don't know. I you gotta bite that bullet. Like that's money. Like at money's the end of not day, important. Yeah. It's not important, but at the same time, if I want to build a legacy, it it kind of is important. Like, okay, you can mm-hmm. come to me as a woman, but just make sure my name on that check is signed correctly, and then we're fine. <sighs> you can do what you want with him. This sounds like young people idealism. That'll go away. I mean, well, let me let me experience that. No, because right. you know, it'll take you. The, it beca- that's part of the why I do this podcast is because there's information that could avoid these type like certain things. But like, if I don't experience it. What lesson am I getting from it? Like, what am I, what's being learned? Smart people learn from other people's experiences. I don't think that's true. Really? No. To a degree. What he said. The person who built, you know, a rocket ship is sitting on the shoulders of all the other people who invented a million other things before them. And they didn't have to relearn how to invent those things before they put all those things together to make the rocket ship. We're building, we're standing on the shoulders of giants, right? So we're, we are taking the past generation's experience and layering we're in a newer environment but we're taking their information and layering it on top of it information is different than experience Uh, if i told you what it feels like to jump out of a plane that's information experience is actually jumping out of the plane right so there's it's just that's obviously extreme example but if i had experience on how to use your parachute you should probably listen to what i'm telling you <laughs> or you can figure it out yourself while you're in the air it's probably not the best way to do it yeah but some lessons you can learn from others and some you got to go through yourself mm-hmm. yeah that's just the reality of it mm-hmm. 